Hey, did that little girl really catch that big fish with her bare hands? I don't know, but I can tell you one thing. We're gonna be taking a much closer look at that video and a whole bunch of other things that you guys sent in this week. Like this picture claiming to show an elephant swimming with a shark, a photo of a guy who caught a fish more than twice his size, a photo of a snowdrift that looks twice as tall as a tour bus, a video of a guy claiming he caught a fish in his toilet bowl, and to top it all off, this bizarre picture allegedly depicting a creature that's half fish and half frog. This show is going to be well worth coming out of your shell for, so don't go away. Hey guys, Bill here. You know, there's a whole bunch of people out there who are very curious about all the amazing creatures that inhabit our planet. But then again, there's a whole group of people out there who seem to be more interested in faking us all out than telling us the truth. You know who I'm talking about. So today we're gonna take a look at five truly bizarre photos and videos that you guys sent in and see if we can figure out which ones are the real deal and which ones are just big, fat, fakety fakes. Let's get started. Number five is this photo claiming to show an elephant swimming with a shark. It was sent in by Advik Sepguta, who just asked, Hey Bill, how can this be real? Well, Advik, this photo is actually just one of a whole series of photos that claim to have captured this strange encounter. Now, the whole set was taken by a woman by the name of Judy Lebrona. Judy herself actually sent me these pictures a while back and told me she took them while on vacation in Sri Lanka. At the time I thought they were real, really cool, so I shared them on my channel. But now it looks like Advik is questioning the authenticity of these shots and wants us to verify them. Hmm, well, I hope he's wrong because I really love those photos. I even was gonna blow one up and hang it on my wall. I vote real. The first thing I checked on is the actual ability of elephants to swim, and as it turns out, they can. According to experts in the field, elephants love to swim, and they're really good at it. They've been recorded swimming long distances of up to 48 kilometers, or about 30 miles. But the question still remains, did this paddling pachyderm actually have a close encounter of the shark kind? Facebook reader Ludek Bongo was the first to point out that the shark depicted in these photos is actually, are you ready for this? Three different sharks. This one's a great white, this one's a tiger shark, and this one is a bull shark. Not only did that turn out to be true, Mr. Bongo, but we found the original photos of these sharks, and guess what? Those photos don't include an elephant at all. Like this one here, if you turn it around, voila, instant elephant slash shark encounter. <laughs> How crazy is that? Now, in addition to this, we also were able to discover that this elephant is a real elephant, but he's not from Sri Lanka at all. His name is Rajan, and he lived in India until his death at age 66 by natural causes. So, I guess what this all boils down to is just one more big, fat, watery fake. Shame on you, Judy, shame. Number four is another fish story that seems too good to be true. Facebook reader Lowell McLowell sent in this photo of a man who claims to have reeled in this gigantic monster. Lowell McLowell wants to know, Bill, is this real or is this Photoshop? Oh, come on, Lowell McLowell, are you kidding me? A fish that big looks like it would be more likely to reel him in rather than the other way around. Is it even possible to catch a fish that big with just a rod and reel? Well, guess what? The answer is yes. Say what? The fish we see in this picture is a gigantic member of what is known as the billfish family. Now, they're unrelated to me, but you know, it'd be really cool if I had my own family of fish, but I don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon. So let me just tell you this. The most famous members of this family are marlin and swordfish. The largest fish of this type ever caught was a Pacific blue marlin weighing 1,805 pounds 
or about 819 kilograms. It was caught off the coast of Hawaii in 1970 by a party of anglers on a boat skippered by Captain Cornelius Choi. Wow, that's pretty cool, but my question is, which one of these people in this photo actually caught that fish and reeled it in? Was it the professor? Marianne? The Howells? Ginger? Or maybe Gilligan? I'm afraid I don't have the answer to that question, but one answer I do have is that this picture sent in by Lowell McLowell is real. The fish is a black marlin and it was caught in Australia. The man is Tim Holmes, who landed the fish on November 9th, 1992. Number three is one of those pictures where you just say to yourself, geez, I really want it to be real, because wouldn't it be cool if snowdrifts could pile up that high in real life? That would be like the most amazing snow fort ever. This photo was sent in by Swift Blade, who said, Hey, Bill, is this real or fake? Well, Swift, after an intensive investigation, we have uncovered the fact that this photo is both real and fake. The real part, according to researcher Eric Rivera, is the snowdrift itself with the tour buses. This area, known as Kailash Nathula Pass, is famous for these gigantic piles of snow. The fake part is the sign you see right here. Is that or is that not the worst Photoshop job you have ever seen? You can see the edges and you can even see where they tried to cover it up with fake snow. Now we didn't take the time to actually figure out what language that is on those signs, but it probably says something along the lines of, this is how not to Photoshop. Next we have another fishing video sent in by Snowman360 and Predive Dawn. Both these guys want to know if this is real or fake. It was first posted by Northwest Bassin, and it claims to show a guy catching a fish in an unlikely place, his own toilet bowl. Guys, we've all heard the stories of people flushing goldfish and other unwanted aquatic pets down the toilet, but could a fish survive after being flushed and then be hungry enough to bite a hook? Possible, but not in this video. Look right here. At the exact moment the fish is supposedly being hooked, there is an edit and suddenly the fish is on the hook. Here, watch it again. First, no fish. Now suddenly a fish. In the end, this can only be judged as, and I think you know what I'm gonna say, so say it with me. So, so fake, fake, it's, it's funny. funny! If you wanna check the entire video for yourself, just to make sure, I'm gonna leave a link for it up here and down there. And now, for what might be the strangest picture of the day, check out this bizarre photo claiming to show a mutant-fish-frog hybrid. The picture was sent in by Daniel Ritwinski, who just wants to know, Bill, is this real or is this fake? Daniel, if this creature turns out to be real, I think everybody will agree it's the most amazing amphibian hybrid ever. But unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on your point of view, this strange mismatched creature turns out to be a Photoshop pixel prank, AKA BFF. The original photo posted by creator John X1 on freakingnews.com was part of a Photoshop contest some months ago. John, that's a pretty good Photoshop job you did there, but as Facebook reader Theo Coy points out, you need hands to carry those things, and oh, by the way, where are the hands? Oops. Two years later, John X did an update on his creation and called it, what else? Eaglefish. <laughs> Okay, well that's all the time I have for this video, but hey, don't click away just yet because I still haven't given you the answer to that crazy video showing a little girl catching a big fish. Remember that one? I'm gonna give you the answer to that in just a second, but first I wanna just send out a big thanks to everybody who sends in photos and videos and all that other crazy stuff you send me. I also wanna thank my Facebook readers and the Chewy Piranhas who helped me solve a lot of these things. And hey, don't forget, if you've got a picture or a video and you're not quite sure whether it's real or not, send it in to me at Bill's channel at gmail.com and I'll take a look. Please don't leave links or suggestions in the comment section because you know, the only thing that really does is make me crazy. crazy. See you next time. 
Now, about this video. We have identified the fish as a species of carp, but whether or not that hand fishing half pint plucked that fish out of the water remains a stubborn unknown. We're still trying to track down the source of this video, so we'll let you know what the deal is as soon as we find out for sure.